Hey guys, it's Aoife from Fred Weasley Died Laughing and I'm here with my first August weekly wrap up slash my wrap up for a booktubeathon. So I'll just get straight into it. I ended up reading seven books this week, though three of those were novellas, or two of those were novellas, not three. Um, so yeah, I was really happy with my reading. So the first book I read was just before Booktubeathon started and I read Magonia by Maria Devana Headley. So Magonia is about a girl called Aza. She has kind of a lung disease. No one really knows what's wrong with her but she is leading kind of a very limited life. She always has the chance of you know ending up in a coma or a seizure because of something in the environment that might trigger her kind of her breathing problems um, and she can also you know there's a fact that she could also die at any moment as well they don't really know how long she can actually live for with this disease um, so Aza ends up hearing all these strange things one day and she starts seeing strange things up in the sky and then we discover about this whole kind of different world called Begonia which is kind of on top of our world it's kind of like in the sky um, so that is what this is about it's about Aza discovering this world and finding out like who she is and all that kind of stuff um, I gave this a four stars but it's more of a 3.8 slash four stars for me or 3.5 slash four stars mainly because I was not a fan of Aza as a main character Um, I didn't like her I didn't like her voice Um. The first chapter for me, I hated the first chapter of this book. I felt like I was being attacked with words. It was very much, you know, Aza saying how sick she was and how she could die, and but how she was, you know, she was so funny and she was so sarcastic. And it was kind of just, it was just over the top for me. It was just like, okay, like, we, we were trying, I could have found all that stuff about Aza, like, gradually during the novel. She didn't have to just, like, push it into my face, like, right then and there. Um, so I didn't really like it. it, it definitely, it just felt like an attack, an attack with words, um, it was just too much and I didn't like it. Um, as it gets a little bit, you know, I get used to her, I, I warmed a little bit to her but overall I didn't like her as a character, um, but I did love the creativeness of this world, I loved the, I loved the whole idea of Magonia, I think it was so clever. The visuals are gorgeous, um, you know, just different kind of creatures that, we don't know about like the storm whale the storm sharks and the whales in the sky that are more like clouds and I thought they were gorgeous I really really liked them I loved kind of picturing them in my head so I did enjoy that which is why the book ended up having a higher rating than I initially would have had especially um from my feelings with the first chapter but overall 3.8 slash four stars and then we started with booktubeathon and the first book i read for booktubeathon was the grace keepers by kirsty logan this fulfilled my read a book with blue in the cover and read a book uh, by an author with the same last same first letter of their last name as you <laughs> can never say that right um but yeah i've heard quite a lot about this book in the last few months um it is basically about a kind of what i would describe it as is if our world in like maybe a hundred a few more hundred years um if the sea levels had risen and you know a lot of our world is under sea um this is kind of like a new society where people a lot of people live on the sea um, and they're known as damplings and then there are people who live in different uh, islands as well so there's like a whole new kind of community a whole different type of religious beliefs um and then this is about a girl called North and a girl called Kalanish. I have to double check that, that's kind of a tough word. But it's basically, there's different stories. Um, North is a dampling and Kalanish is a grace keeper, which means she's kind of, it's a little bit like a priestess and she lives on land. Um, but she's kind of in between a dampling and someone who lives on earth. She's not really either. And it's just about how they end up meeting up and it's just, it's just kind of a really beautifully written story. Um, I I liked it I really liked it um I think I gave it four stars um it's just it's just really it's just really magical and it's really mysterious um it's just it's just not something that like you know I would be crazy about um but yeah I really enjoyed it I did I did really enjoy it it was a bit more of a slow read it wasn't really a fast read it's not like that engrossing but um I did enjoy it overall so I gave it a four out of five stars so the next book I read was Graduation Day by Joelle Charbonneau. I can't remember what this one was for. Um, I think it might have been a book that I really wanted to read. Um, but basically I read the two uh, first books in this series, which is The Testing and Independent Study, um, all part of the Testing Trilogy. 
So it is basically about a world where children can qualify to become university students, but they have to go through this whole kind of testing um, to see if they if they deserve a place in the university if they're clever enough and there's all these crazy things that happen and um, so that's all done in the first book so I don't want to give any any bit away but this is an, this is the conclusion to the book and um, where we're following the main character Sia and her kind of she's trying to obviously stop a corrupt a corrupt world and she's trying to stop everything and try and make the world better for everyone I really enjoyed the first two books of this they were really fast paced they really captured me in this one was just so disappointing i really didn't like it um it was just even though the events of the book happened in the space of only a few days i felt like the pace of the book was very very slow much much slower than the other two um so i was a bit like ugh. and then it was like it was kind of like the author didn't know who she wanted to be the bad guy it was like really mixed up it was like well this person's bad but they're kind of good and this person is good but they might actually be bad but like we don't really know but we're going to you know you can kind of just figure it out yourselves kind of make up your own mind and it's like well no that's that's not what i want you need to tell me if she's bad or good like i need to i need you to, to decide that for me um <laughs> and it was just so confusing so yeah is it was just kind of flat the whole conclusion of it felt kind of flat um I'd like to think that things got better, but I'm not really sure. I don't know. It was just kind of strange. I just really didn't like it. Um, so I gave it a two stars out of five. So the next book I read was Zoo by James Patterson and Michael Ledwich. And this is a book about um, the world where animals are starting to, they're starting to turn on humans. They're starting to lose their fear of humans. And for some reason they're attacking them. Even, you know, tame humans that are pets, tame humans tame animals that have um that are pets they're starting to turn on the humans that they love and they're, no one knows why so this follows a scientist called Oz and he is trying to discover what is making the animals act like this he's been trying to tell the world that this has been going to happen for like five plus years and um no one else believed him until now when all these strange things start to happen um this is a really fast paced book. I read it very quickly. The chapters are very short so they're very easy to read. At one point there is a five year gap. It jumps forward five years. Um, so that was pretty interesting as well. There were some parts of the book where we kind of got inside the animals minds and how they were thinking and you know the differences in what how they were thinking and especially with there's one point which is chimpanzee. So we really got to see how he was feeling and how confused he was and you know how he was seeing the world in whatever was changing in his brain and um, how it was making him see the world so that was it was really interesting to read um, and it was kind of scary as well and um, if anyone is concerned about that they've watched the tv show so they won't read the book or vice versa the tv show is completely different Um, i would say the tv show almost could be said that it's the five years that isn't shown in this book could be the TV show because the TV show is much more slower paced um, obviously because it's TV so um, it's not as fast paced as the book. So yeah overall I did enjoy it and I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars. So the next book I read is the um, third novella in the Magnus Bane Chronicles and that was Vampires, Scones and Edmund Herondale and that was written by uh, Cassandra Clare and Sarah Reese Brennan. It's where he goes to London. So we actually meet some people who are kind of like the parents of the main characters in the Infernal Devices. So that was really interesting um, and I really liked that. It wasn't as good as the other two though. Um, it was kind of, it was alright like, but it wasn't brilliant. So I gave it a three stars. I originally actually had it as four stars then after changing it to three because I don't think I liked it that much for a four stars. So I gave it a three stars instead. And then I went on to a book I was really looking forward to reading because I've heard so many good things about it and it's The Night Circus by Erin Morgenstern. This book is just magical. It's the only way to describe this book. It's beautifully written, completely sucked me in and um, it was that kind of where I was reading it and reading it and I re didn't realise I was like halfway through the book um, until I looked at the pages and I was like oh oh my god like I'm, I'm almost finished it. Um, this is about basically a circus that just appears in the middle of the night out of nowhere people know what the circus is it's more of a carnival than the circus it has loads of different tents there's just magical things in each tent and this tells the story of 
um, a girl called Celia and then a boy called Marco and it's them, their connection with the circus and then their connection with each other. There's just a real mysterious element to it. Um, but I really enjoyed it. I really loved all the characters. Um, we don't just get to see Celia and Marco. We see all these other different characters from the circus and how, you know, they kind of got to the circus and how they feel about the circus. So I really enjoyed that. I thought it was really good. Um, so yeah, I gave this a 5 out of 5 stars because it is just, it's so brilliant. And if anyone hasn't picked this up yet, go and pick it up because it's just such, such a beautiful read. So gorgeous. Yes. So the last book that I read, I read Johnny's Girl by Paige Toon. So this is a novella um, in that Johnny Be Good kind of series. So I've already read Johnny Be Good and Baby Be Mine, which was the first and second um, of these Johnny Jefferson kind of novels that Paige Toon writes, which is all about a rock star and his kind of romantic relationship with this girl called Meg. So this is after the events of Baby Be Mine, this is about, and it's also a lead on kind of a little lead on up to a YA novel series that um, Page Toon has started. So this is kind of introducing a new character that she's going to write YA novels about. Um, so I did enjoy it, like it wasn't anything special. Um, I gave it a 4 out of 5 stars just because I love Johnny Jefferson and I love his relationship with Meg and you know I think I just read anything that Page Toon writes because I think she's just such a good writer. And I never uh, picked out my, again I'm really bad at this, but I never picked out my August TBR uh, pick of the month so I'm going to do that now. So And I jazzed up my uh, TBR jar if anyone has noticed. So I ended up actually picking out two um, from my TBR jar this month because the first one is a really short one and I also have kind of read it before, I just haven't really read it and I haven't read it in a long time so I'm going to read it again. So this is Tales of Beetle and the Bard by J.K. Rowling um, which is also, you know, kind of the witch and wizard uh, version of fairy tales. So yeah, so that's going to be good and it's really short so that would only take me like, I don't know, not very long. Um, and then the next one that I picked out is The Secret Garden by Frances Hodgson, Hodgson, yeah, Burnett. Um, so I've just had this on my shelf and I really, I've been really wanting to read it. Um, so yeah, at least I'm looking forward to that. And again, this is, it's not very long, it's 200 pages, so it shouldn't take too long to read. So let me know what you guys think about all the different books I read. Um, comment below what your opinions are or if you've read them. And I hope to see you guys again next time. So bye!